Hi there and welcome to Edwards & Co. Today we're going to go through how to service your Oscar MX stroller at home. So these are all the same things we would do on a service scene today. What I would do is get some things ready. So I love surface cleaner which is available at Bunnings but you could just use a um, window cleaner would be a really great product to use. WD-40 which is a lubricant. Uh, you can also use silicon spray or CRC. Um, and another great product to have around is Vaseline, um, I'll show you in a minute. So what I like to do is put the stroller on the table, it just makes it a bit easier for me to bend over. Take the wheel off, so the wheels, there's a button actually on the wheel, so you can push that and release it, and remove the first wheel. So have a look in here, get a cloth and give it a clean out, a lot of sand and bits and pieces can get stuck into there. Check the brake, put the brake on, you should see a little metal rod poke out and push it again and it should pop back in. Um, I like to use some WD-40 or any lubricant and spray the end of the wheel pin here. And that just makes sure that it, not, it moves nice and easily so that you can always remove the wheel without um, any difficulty. So first wheel here and second wheel over here. So same thing, clean the wheel out with a cloth Put a little bit of WD-40 on here and make sure that, another good thing to do actually is to make sure that the wheel is nice and clean so there's no damage to the plastic and that will just tell you if there is any damage to the plastic, um, I would contact customer service because it could potentially be a brake fault that we would need to repair. Okay, so you looked at the brakes, we've looked at the rear wheels, um, just give them a spin and they should spin nice and quietly. Uh, same goes for the front. There's not really a lot of maintenance you need to do on the front wheel because we have a really good bearing system in there that means no maintenance essentially. Um, but it should spring nice and freely like that. If you have any problems with the front wheel, for example if you're going for a walk and it starts wobbling out of control then that could potentially be a fault so I would recommend that you contact us um, to get that rectified. Another good thing to do, probably after six months to a year, is check the fold hinge. If you're finding the fold stroller is getting a little bit hard to fold, like if that kind of rotation there is tight, then what you can do is just if you just unfold it like that, get some Vaseline or your CRC, put a little bit on your finger and just rub it on the top here, um, near where you'll see a little metal pin. Um, so just put it near there. And Vaseline's great because it's non-toxic as well, so if baby gets it in their mouth, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then just give it a bit of a move like that. And you should actually quickly notice that it will start to feel a lot easier to move back and forth. Just sand and things get stuck in there, so um, it can make it more difficult to fold after a bit of time, but once you've done that, it should last you another year. What we also like to do is just check that the fold is it's folding correctly. So when you fold it, um, it should the little fold lock should catch just right there, which means that when you're lifting out of the car, it's not going to unfold on you. Make sure that's working, and if it's not, then obviously let us know. Okay. We also like to give when we give the stroller a clean. If you're finding that on your frame, you've just got little white marks. That is usually when you've gone through a door and you've hit the side of the door and it can leave a little white mark which is basically the paint from the door. But if you use some surface cleaner or you can buy um, rubbing alcohol, um, which from Bunnings, um, or if you've got your lens cleaner or your glasses, you could use that. Um, and you'll find that it will quickly wipe off if you just use a little bit of that. You can see that just went there and the rubbing alcohol does a really nice job of cleaning the frame. As I said earlier, you can also use a window cleaner. I find quite good as well. So give that a bit of a rub up and down. Just watch your Edwards & Co logo there because if you use too harsh a chemical, you might just rub that off. Cool. The storage basket, if that's really dirty, you can put that in the washing machine. Just throw it in um, and put it on. Best to probably put it on a gentle cycle 
and leave it to drip dry. Choose a really nice day, like if it's a really hot day, then you can do it really quickly. Cool. Um, if you are finding a little bit of corrosion on the inside rivets here, uh, that's just usually caused by it's maybe the stroller's been left out in the rain or when you store the stroller you're best to store it in a really dry place. Other potential cause could be salt water so if you've even gone to the beach once or near the beach and a bit of salt water's got on there it might start to do that. So I just the best solution I find is your WD-40 again. Um, put it on a cloth so just spray it on just quite a liberal amount and then dab it onto the, the river and that just protects it, it stops it getting any worse and it should just fix the colour. Um, you can put spray it directly on as well, if you're finding it's quite bad. Cool. Um, seat fabric, so I don't know if you can see this seat fabric here, but this is my son's stroller and he gets into all sorts of things. Uh, he loves to play in the dirt, so you can just see how dirty that is. The fabric's really easy to clean. We've designed it so that you don't spend too much time scrubbing and things. The little crotch pad, the shoulder pad, can actually be put in the washing machine, so I usually would take them off and throw them in. They can just go with your normal clothes. Just be um, aware with, with the shoulder pad, that this is a leather, well, and the crotch pad actually, this is leather, so don't leave it soaking for too long, otherwise the colour will run. Okay, so the way you clean the seat is, I've just got in here um, a hot bucket of water, and it has laundry liquid in it, I use the liquid laundry liquid. Okay, so I've also got a brush. So just put a bit of water on, and agitate it. By the way, it's really good to choose a really hot day because then you can, once you've dried it, you can just leave it in the sun to dry. Okay, just do that. Try not to get too much on it because if you put too much on, it won't dry very quickly. Day. So anyway, I'll, I'll do that and then um, once you've agitated it a little bit, get a really dry cloth and wipe, it, wipe off the suds like this. Um, if you've got a wet and dry vac, even better because you can just suck off the, the wet suds here. Once you've done that, get another clean bucket of water and do the same thing. So just Put a bit of the clean water on here and get it wet and dry it off with your towel. And then once you've done that, then all you need to do is leave it out in the sun for a few hours. Come back and it should look good as new. We'll do a before and after photo for you so you can see. Uh, that's the video, so thanks for watching.